Hey everyone, it's Kristen, and I thought I would take you through a real quick um, just overview of freemix.com because I've been showing a deck that I'm creating using freemix. And um, so I just thought I'd take you through how I find those images. And first of all, I wanted to say that you, you, you're going to need to use freemix.com on a desktop laptop you do not want to try to find this mobile because if you do it will try to pull up the app and the app is not current so uh, you won't be able to access this as an app so go to your desktop or laptop and I'm in freemix.com and um, what I usually do is just go to the cutouts library I'm gonna mention the create mode but I'm not gonna get into it um, but you can create collages by just layering different images. And so Freemix is, um, it's a free online art collage tool that will allow you to um, just kind of mix and match a bunch of different images. So I'm up here clicking Cutouts Library. And when you get into the Cutouts Library, you can see just a bunch of images that will pop up. I'm in random mode. That's the mode that I usually like to stay in. I think in, in the cutouts library, it actually works better than clicking on these specific areas. But if you're looking for a specific type of uh, image, you can check out this left sidebar for specific things. Like I said, I keep mine in random mode. And then you just want to scroll down. So the so as you scroll down, you will see just different images pop up. And the reason why I really like using the cutouts library is that you'll see a lot of titles, like they're from books and magazines and posters and things like that. And I really love just the look of them. I love that they're just cutouts from these different uh, these different sources and the great thing about this is that you don't have to um, I'll say for the most part the backgrounds are already cut out of everything and if you've done any amount of photo editing work you know that it takes some work to remove the backgrounds from something so that you have uh, more of like a transparent file or PNG uh, style file um, because most of these images they had something around them first so they've already been like cropped to some degree the backgrounds have been removed and that is a really big task so that's one of the reasons why I like this is just because you you can't even imagine how much work that can be so um, that's a really great thing about this particular tool. So as I scroll down, you're just seeing different images, random images, and you just figure out what, you know, what do you like? What do you want? I always start with kind of a theme or um, of what I'm looking for, or I just, I just download whatever I like, you know, whatever jumps out at me you'll see again different images from different time periods too. So these are, you know, a lot of these are vintage, um, uh, you know, just from different eras, from different countries. So just keep that in mind as well. Um, and so I think it does help to know like what you're looking for, just so, because there's just so much, <laughs> it can be overwhelming. And um, I'm making a deck called Hear Me Roar, and it is featuring women. So I'm really looking just for images with women and uh, also looking for like the titles, the book titles and things like that. And so that kind of helps me screen through as I go through. So one of the things that, like I said, with this is pretty easy when you see something that you like all you have to do is click on it and let's just say i'm going to use this this sun and i just click on that sun 
and then it'll bring me to an, another screen where you can see the image information, if there is any, if there is a source. Um, and then you can see, now that we see this up close, we can see how pixelated it is. So that is something that I will tell you, these images are not necessarily the highest resolution. Uh, and that's usually why when I use them, I use them at a smaller resolution. I use, a, I use them for small size decks or I, I might sometimes increase the resolution. But if you want to save this, once you have it here, I just do a right click. And it's not working now. Um, typically, I do a right click. I'm gonna go back and see why it's not working. But um, you, usually, I do a right click to save it to my downloads. So I'm not sure why that one's not working. But what you'll find is when you come back, when you go back a screen, like you go back to this page, you will find that it repopulates, like it, it goes back to that random randomization so it's like you're starting over again so just keep that in mind i would say if there's two things that you want on the same page you're gonna have to pick it um all everything comes back around just so that you know but it may take days or weeks for you to see that same picture again so i kind of like that it does that it makes you make better choices i think in terms of what you're what you're getting um, let me see if I can try this one again. Uh, okay, you can do download image. And so there should be something here when you do right, a right click that allows you to download the image. It, might, it may be because I'm in this, um, because I'm doing this in Zoom and I'm sharing my screen. But generally you would do download image or it would be like save image to, and you can fill that in. And so, I mean, that's how easy it should be. And then I'm just going back to the cutouts library and then it just continues with its randomization and um, showing you different images. And you just do this until you find all the images that you want. And they are saved, you know, like I said, save them to your own computer or wherever you wanna save them to. And then you have a whole bunch of images that you can use. So I hope that gives you just a quick look at freemix.com. It is a really fun uh, tool to use online. I've used it already to make a collage style deck. And again, I'm using it to make this new deck for my Inspired Oracles Challenge for the women theme. And so um, I'll be showing that on Instagram and probably YouTube as well. But hopefully this gives you just kind of a starting point if you want to use this particular website.